In the last tutorial, I gave you an overview of the Module Manager, and I also showed you how to remove, unpublish, and delete any unwanted modules. During this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a specific type of module, a custom HTML module, and we'll put that in a position below our main menu here. Now, first, we want to open up our Protostar module map. And if I scroll down on this page, we'll see more of the positions that are available to us if we're using Protostar. Now we're going to put the module in the banner position here. And to create the module, we'll want to return to our Joomla administrator and open up our module manager by clicking on the link in the left-hand menu or by going to Extensions Module Manager. Now remember, we already have one module in the site, the main menu. And notice how that's in position 1 and it's on all pages. If we return to the Protostar module map, you'll be able to see that the banner position is directly below position 1. First, we'll return to the administrator and we'll click on the new button to create a new module. And you should remember that there are many different types of core Joomla modules and they're all worth learning about. But there's really only one module that will allow you to add and customize text and images and that's the custom HTML module. So we'll select that as our option here. Just like when you create a category or an article or a menu item, you have to pay attention to the asterisks when you create a module. We need a title for this module, so we'll title this one the Art Gallery Banner. And then we'll use our JCE editor to insert an image. Click on that little picture frame button within the editor as we illustrated in a previous tutorial. This way you can browse your computer and upload an image to your site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse my computer select an image, but remember, Joomla isn't an image editing software. I've pre-measured this banner to use in this banner position. It's important to get those images to the exact size you want before you get them into Joomla. I'll select the image and click on the Upload button, and once it appears in my Image Manager, I'll select it here so the properties are completed up above. Then I'll click on the Insert button at the bottom. I can see now that the image is in my article. Next, I have to pick a position for my module. So I'll use this drop-down menu, but I don't want to use the Bees 3 template or the Meet Gavern template. I want to select the banner position from the Protostar template, the template that I'm using, my default template. After picking the position, we can ask Joomla to put the module only on specific pages. If you click on the Menu Assignment tab, you can use this drop-down to determine which pages you'd like the module to appear. Now, right now, this is on all pages, and we don't have many pages in the site, but in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to designate which module should appear on which pages. For now, I'll just save my work, and I'll return to the front end and refresh the page, and I'll see my banner. Now, notice how this goes below our main menu, but above our article body content. Notice also how we have the title there. If we return to the back end, we can click on the Hide feature to hide the title if we don't want that to appear. So I'm going to hide the title, save my work again, and return to the front end. Now the title has disappeared. Now our Joomla site is becoming to look much more customized and personalized. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a featured article menu item type that's going to go right here in our main menu. Again, watch that tutorial so you can learn how to turn modules on and off on particular pages.